The specific heat capacity of solid copper metal is 0.385 joules per gram degree Celsius. How many joules of heat are needed to raise the temperature of a 2.03 kilogram block of copper from 15 degrees Celsius to 75 degrees Celsius? To answer this question, we will be using the formula Q is equal to MC delta T. So Q here stands for the heat, which is what we're looking for in this problem. We are solving for Q. M stands for the mass. Now in the problem, as you can see, the mass given is 2.03 kilograms. But when you look at the specific heat capacity, the unit is joules per gram degree Celsius. So we need to make the units uniform. So you need to convert 2.03 kilograms into grams. So how do we do that? In order to convert kilograms to grams, remember that one kilogram is equivalent to 1,000 grams. So you just need to multiply 2.03 by 1,000. Okay, so 2.03 times 1,000, that's equal to... 20, 30 grams. So 2,030 grams. C stands for the specific heat capacity, which is already given in the problem. That's 0 0.385 joules per gram degree Celsius. Times... Delta T is the change in temperature. So when we say change in temperature, that's the final temperature minus the initial temperature. So in our problem, the final temperature is 75 degrees Celsius and the initial temperature is 15 degrees Celsius. So if we're going to compute for the change in temperature, that's final 75 minus initial that's 15. So 75 minus 15. So the change in temperature is equal to 60 degrees Celsius. So you put that into your equation, 60 degrees Celsius. Now let's look at how the units cancel out. So the grams will cancel, the Celsius will cancel. So the unit for Q is joules and the problem is asking for if you read the problem how many joules of heat so your answer must be in joules okay now all you have to do now is to grab your calculator and solve for q so that's 2030 times 0 0.385 times 60 and that is equal to 46,893 joules. Now sometimes professor wants um, to express your answer into certain number of significant figures so you can also express it into three significant figures. So if your professor wants it in three significant figures you can Approximate your answer to 4.69 times 10 raised to 4 joules. Okay, and this is the answer to the question.